What's up, queens and kings? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. Here at Queen Budgets, we are tackling all things financial, from budgeting by paycheck, cash envelopes, sinking funds, savings challenges, debt payoff, while currently on a low income and a single mom of three. So if that sounds like something that would interest you, I invite you to hit the subscribe button below. Go ahead and join the shmoney team so you can be lit like us, baby, getting your shmoney together. I want to give a huge shout out to all of the parents okay before we even get this video started if you is a mom or you're a dad shout out to you boo okay because these kids be doing the entire entire you see my hands going like this entire most okay so if y'all see any brown stains on my um on my tablecloth just know that chocolate Got into my makeup, y'all. He made a huge, huge mess, you know, and I've just been super busy. I haven't had the time to wash it yet, and I wanted to get this video out. So if y'all see a big brown stain, it's, I wasn't eating chocolate when nothing like that. Chocolate was playing in my makeup, okay? But I've had a crazy week. Also, I have some good news for y'all. Before I get started, sis got a promotion. Yay! So I will no longer be a community integration counselor starting May 1st. I will be a job coach slash employment specialist for my job. I got a $3 increase per hour increase and I'm just super stoked about it so I hope my paychecks be showing the increase or whatever but we moving up the ladder you know what I'm saying we we like good times you know what I'm saying we in a deluxe apartment in the sky you know but as you can tell from the title of the video y'all we're going to be doing a budget with me this going to be a quick budget with me you know what I'm saying I was slapped with something unexpected but we still work through the issues okay so first we're just gonna open up good notes or whatever and go to my april this is april the 25th this is april the 25th pay if you guys caught my last video then you will you will i introduced the new sheets that i'll be using i'm not 100 percent familiar with them yet but we're gonna work with them if it doesn't work we might go back to what we was doing before we might try something different you know what i'm saying but so there was a huge mix up at my job. Well, it wasn't a mix up, but I found out what happened. So the person that approves our mileage um, no longer works at the company. So my mileage was not approved this pay. So my paycheck was only $800, you know, but what is a budget if you can't roll with the punches? You know what I'm saying? What is a budget if you're not prepared for something like that? So I made it do what it do. Also, I had to renew my tags, which was supposed to be $67 for one year. But for some reason, they was forcing me, y'all, forcing me to do two years. So I had to pay $135, which was so unexpected. I literally only had two or three days before my registration ended, so I really couldn't, like, go inside of motor vehicles and ask questions, and I was trying to, you know, get this done while I was at work, so I was just like, pay the 135 and figure it out within your budget. Okay, so first, we're starting with my pay for April the 25th. As you guys know, I'm paid semi-monthly. I get paid twice a month. I get paid on the 10th and the 25th of every month. If the 10th or the 25th falls on a weekend, then I get paid that Friday before. So we're starting with $800. First and foremost, we had to take care of that registration and that tag um, situation. So that was $135. We also had to pay Xfinity Internet. Let's do it like this. Hold on one second. Let me get my calculator, whatever. Where is that at? Where's the calculator? Hmm. If I was a calculator, where would I be? I remember putting it somewhere, but... Just 
Okay, found it. So with these new budgeting sheets, it does not have a space for you to enter, you know, how much is left over after you subtract everything. And since I'm so used to subtracting everything, I kind of need to do it this way just to make sure everything is adding up. So we're starting out with $800. As I said, we had to pay $135 for our tags and registration. So mine is $135. That left us with 665. We also had to pay at Xfinity Internet, which the budgeted amount was 125, but I'm actually paying $80 because if you guys remember or not, or if you saw my previous video, I do receive a 40 to $45 credit for my Xfinity bill, the ACP program. And um, I had to also pay my phone bill for myself and my two children so that was a hundred the expected amount was 182 but it really came out to be 181 so wait a minute i didn't minus the internet so minus hold on let's start over because sis be making mistakes and i don't need to make no mistakes this need to add up so 800 minus the 135 that yeah that leaves us with 665 let me minus the xfinity internet which i said was 80 so that's minus 80 that leaves us with 585. Then Xfinity phone was $181, so minus 181. That leaves us with $404. I had to pay my Kohl's charge minimum, which was minus $44. That left me with $360. And then two buddy comes out on the 29th of the month, which is $5. So minus $5. And that brought me down to $300. $55 remaining. So we have $355 here. So we're doing the math correct. Um, so then for my variable expenses, I will be putting $20 for Queen. So minus $20 for Queen. Then um Kenzie, she'll get her normal 10. So minus 10 for Kenzie. Then Trance, he will get his normal 10. So minus 10 for Trance. Gasolina is $150, so minus $150 for Gasolina. Eat Out is going to get $10, so minus $10 for Eating Out. Mikasa is actually going to get $50 this time, so minus $50. We have some bulk shopping that we need to go. I'm probably going to go to Sam Saturday or Sunday with my twin sister. And so that leaves us with $105. Self-care is going to be getting $30. I have to do my hair this weekend, so minus $30. That leaves us with $75. Um, for miscellaneous, we're going to add $15, so minus $15. That leaves us with $60. Love always gets $5, so minus $5. And that leaves us with $55. And if you guys can tell or not, we have a new category that we've added to our variable expenses, which is food, guys. Normally, I would not have to pay for food, but this week we're going to put $55 towards our food budget. So minus $55. That leaves us with zero, zero base budget. I was not able to stuff any of my sinking funds. As you can see, I scratched out everything. I was not able to put any money towards my sinking funds. This pay, this pay was kind of crazy. It was kind of chopped up. We're going to make it do what it do because, you know, sis got a promotion, so it's time to play catch up. But let's go back to the food thing really quickly because I know some people may not understand. I know on my channel, I never stuffed money for a grocery budget or a food budget because I was receiving EBT. Um, some people are familiar with it, known as the food stamp program. And um, so during the pandemic, they gave us like pandemic food stamps. I used to get like up to like 900 and something dollars. Then once the pandemic uh, ended or well, I don't know if the pandemic is actually ended yet but I know they cut our benefits back about two or three months they cut us the additional that they were paying us which was $300 so once I submitted my income and I let them know about my new job and everything I went from getting 635 and they took my benefit amount all the way down to $222 so right when I was trying to put together a meal plan for you guys and show you guys how I budget out my EBT. Come to find out my EBT was reduced all the way down to $222. And that's really crazy because 
I don't know what to do with that amount of money. I'm definitely going to have to start taking money out of my paycheck. So that's why I added the $55. I wanted to add more, but when I had to pay for those tags, that kind of threw everything off, but we're going to make it do what it do. But um, going forward, instead of $222, I did receive a letter. They, they're going to increase it to $318. So I'm still going to do the meal plan with you. I'm still going to show you guys how I spend my EBT, but the EBT is definitely not going to be enough to feed um, my family of four. So I'm going to figure it out. Um, we're going to work together. You know, I'm going to come on and we're going to figure this thing out, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Sis, I like to eat. You know what I'm saying? So we can't be lacking in the food department. But I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, leave me a pink heart emoji because y'all know I like pink and purple heart emojis. And y'all see my boo over here in the corner. Hold up, white man. What you say, Sailor Moon? Peace. Okay. But um, if you guys are not subscribed already, what is you waiting for, baby? Hit the subscribe button below so you can join the Shmoney team so you can be like us getting your Shmoney together. If you need anything, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My uh, comments below is always open. You can always email me at queenbudgets with a Z on the end at gmail.com. Make sure you guys go and check out my Etsy shop. I've added a couple of new additions and I also had some new savings challenges coming in. I just love y'all. Thank y'all for everything and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.